here. Hello. Can you tell the family what we're doing today? Today we're going on pit bike adventure number two. You guys didn't see the first one? Holy sh no, but come out here, come out here for a second. We just filming, rode we're filming nuts a to butts. Webisode today. No, me and Mike rode the 125 to your home. Sick. Nuts to butts. I was in the she front, was, Matt was in the back. She was second gear, had nothing. Third gear, we were ripping. But welcome to Sick. Webisode Pit Bike Adventures number two, but technically one. This is Webisode one today. Webisode, webisode number one. one. You know, remember my old videos, like BMX days, mm -hmm. like two and a half years ago, two, two winters ago? I wish I would have called those webisodes. I have to finish eating my lunch. Can I get a sip of water? Uh, get or no, or a... You want a white claw for the video? Log, come here. I'm finishing my lunch. You stoked? I'm so excited. You stoked? Uh, first day back in Connecticut. Um, was just hanging out with the LZ crew all week. Back. Uh, I am back from that and I'm back in Connecticut. Beautiful, sunny Connecticut. It has rained this morning. Uh, lightning has been going on all day. We should be get we should be chilling, no dust today, but expect to get fucking rowdy. So, I I bought a helmet because I was scared the last time I went out riding. Call me a pussy, what you want? I have a helmet. Mike has a helmet. Hunter is going no helmet because he's a man. No helmet. But today the brakes are going to be the all you go on. Got a bit of a tough one for Matthew Paw. Troll down the, troll down it into the ditch, and I hope you. This way. Yeah, go down my trail. That's the easiest way, and then I hope you. Dude, it's still fucking leaking. We'll deal with it when you get over here, cause I'm not going back. Michael's already gone. Watch out for this hole. <laughs> in the middle of the desert we find this big old hole and it's got these weird painted ass rocks in it there's some satanic stuff going down right here dude all right round two <laughs> you don't think i'll ride down that oh you will Back at the workshop, throttle's getting stuck. So I'm gonna hurry and take the top of the carburetor off, uh, clean up the throttle, and then uh, hurry and blow out the air filter because I know that hill climb filled my air filter full of dirt. So we'll take care right, of it. So, so let's see the fucking air filter first. All right, wet pancake. So we're gonna go with the paper towel method. I'm scared of them getting sucked in, but this is like just as awful. Do you have any old microfibers like how I did with Mike's setup? Yeah, but that was not for the air filter. So it's still a filter. Should I cut out the microfiber? No, just run the paper towels, dude. Fucking send that shit. Well, I feel like even even one, one's too thin, it's gonna get sucked in, and two is too. What about one in the filter? I think that's the best bet. Don't breathe in that, that'll fucking kill you. <laughs> it's 40 years old. Never been changed, guaranteed. It's almost as old as um, that piece of shit right there. It's an R32 GTST. Super. Okay, we'll see how she runs with, with one filter mod. Got the rigs. My fucking bars were too far back up here, or too far back is what Hunter said. But that's why I moved them forward and shit feels nice right now. I also was able to finally adjust the clutch thing. So now it's like nicer, but. Got the bike running, one paper towel seemed to do the trick. And then we go back out and fucking go slow again, because I'm, I'm bad. 
All right, guys, hog's running good. Took the HKS filter, HKS, cut it up, put it in. This is gonna work great. Beautiful car. Guys are gonna come hit the berm. Coming in hot. Yes. Maybe Matthew Paul's gonna come. Yes. Give her the beans. The bike has so much power and potential. I'm, I'm over here struggling, just revving the heck out of this. Just to stay caught up. A little skid, heck yeah. Weak, weak. We get the fakey for us? Not the fakey, I'll try to burn out. I did it. Okay. That whole front ring? Uh, just give us a burnout however you want. Put it up against the wall. Put it up against the wall. The wall? Alright guys, Shiver me fucking timber, timbers. I'm run out of fucking gas we had an eventful day, but I am out of gas. Two stroke life, you can't just fucking top her off with. You can't just top her off with gas station gas, sadly. Will she run on diesel? Maybe, I don't know how that works exactly, but I don't think so. Um. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna have to end the video short, I, I guess guys. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I'm here down, but I don't... Oh, my. I don't have to work tomorrow, so... Yeah, but it's dark already, too. I mean, It's freaking I dark. tomorrow, but, like... No, I'll ride tomorrow. Yeah. If, if this blows up, I was looking. People are doing part outs on these. I can get a bottom ever 300 bucks. Well, plus, it's running better than it ever has in the last... That's because it has that fresh air filter. In the last 15 years of its life, all it needs is some more free mix, and she'll be ready to fucking send. Fresh gas, oil, and a fresh air filter. She's a ripper. All right, Hunter. Buying premix from Walmart. This is Walmart, right? Yeah. Mountain Dew, we're gonna go Walmart. We're gonna go get a gallon of gas in the gas station, local Walmart. Had to sketch Hunter back about halfway. I'm sweating. I had to. I had to go back a half a mile. Walking. Just bike adventures. All right, so. Give me my money. Hunter ran out of gas. Not filming the car number. Hunter ran out of gas on the adventures. As you can see, she about as dry as um. Um, Michael's asshole, I'd reckon. We had to push back far. We, so we, how, how far would you say? About like a half mile? A quarter to a half, it's hard to tell. About a half mile away from the gas station, we ran out. And of course he's a pussy, so he rides a two stroke, so he has to pre-mix. Didn't have any no. pre-mix. My Pitster Pro blew up. Thanks, Pitster Pro. Anyways, so we had to run to the local map. In Walmart. Grab a, come on, man. Dude, you, that, no. he's not happy. He doesn't look happy with us. The four-wheeler fucking guy. No, that guy was waving. He out there? Yeah. No, he was stoked. Oh, okay. He didn't the look happy. Stoked. Any anyway, so got a pre-mix. Try to fit a whole gallon in here. Um, but successful day. I think we are gonna go back out tomorrow. Yeah. For, for sure. Pitster Pro or for uh, what are we calling this? Fit Bike Adventures. This is Webisode One. Webisode, webisode One. one of fit Pitster uh, Fit Bike Adventures. We might be a little bit here, boys. We got 0.86 of a gallon, and she... Keep, keep her going. She's full. I don't want to... I'm going to be covered in gas driving home. Um, This thing is sick. My exhaust is fucking loose, which All right. is like a rattle, so... Yeah, you can... 
She's a she's she's looser than a about to pour in the cocktail mix. She's looser than Michael's girlfriend. So look at that. Whoa, place. dude, watch your fucking mouth. Should we put a little bit of Mountain Dew in there? Yeah, you want. Do a Michael. A little bit of Mountain Dew. Like a little bit. Alright, get this on film. Oh. He's gonna run now. Uh, yes, she's she running is. on Bald Eagles as Cletus McCoy. Thanks, Cletus. Bald I am Eagles. quite upset. I didn't get to meet Cletus. I saw him take a picture. He Down was there. he was in like so where the you think the sugar from the Mountain Dew is gonna hurt so, anything? No, so he was oh, in I had a mask in my this, pocket. Cletus was in the judges area and like where the spotters all were. So I couldn't get to where he was because I really wanted a picture with Cletus. He's my fucking dad, so Yeah, I'm already losing gas out of the overflow. Hey no no fucking see if she mixed, mixed good enough. It'll mix with all the vibrations better too. You know about those vibrations, huh? Yep, looks nice and blue with Mountain Dew tint. Ew! I said, Those are gonna stink forever. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you for the drug hustle. Will she be a first Welcome. cranker or what? Yeah, I think. Oh, so this thing didn't ride it for like five days. Cranked first kick. Nothing, no issues. Mr. Pro no always did too, until the teeth fell off their gear. It's upsetting. It's wiping. Oh. Right yeah. Uh, uh, hopefully, mine does not do the same fate to the pitster pro well, i also don't drive it as hard as you have been yeah even the day we took it out of the box i went hill climbing hell yeah so um <laughs> you saw the flames right i don't think footage got the flames because he was too far in front of us oh. all right guys uh matt and mike went home you can see all the rigs behind me, and you see the Pitster Pro doesn't have an engine. I'll talk about that in a second, but uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I need more subscribers trying to get that thousand. Right now I'm at like 380 something, so uh, tell your friends to sub at the channel. Make good videos. Uh, scroll through, watch some of the old videos, and I'll explain the Pitster Pro really quick. All right, so last time we went to ride, I just rode in the front yard for a second out in the road and third gears made this bad noise ever since I got it and then all of a sudden the back wheel locked up and the engine was seized and then I broke it free and I could shift through all the gears but as soon as I would hit third it would just lock up and when it was in third gear you could just hear like metal and stuff crunching around in the engine so I called Pister Pro and they told me to send it in and hopefully they send me a new engine uh they said it could take two weeks to two months so I'll keep you updated on that, but we might film tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.